Child's Blood Type Possibilities Blood Types Inheritance Explained In this video, you will learn What is a blood type? What are the main blood types and what determines them? What are the possible blood types of the child determined by any combination of parents? What would be the blood type of the father if the blood types of the mother and the child are known? So, let's shed more light on blood types, also known as blood groups. You probably know that there are four main blood groups, A, B, AB, or O. In addition, all four of them could be either Rh positive or Rh negative. This is a result of a Rh factor, an inherited protein found on the surface of red blood cells. If your blood has the protein, you are Rh positive, but if your blood doesn't have the protein, you are Rh negative. About 15% of the world's population lacks the Rh antigen and has an Rh negative blood type, while the remaining 85% who possess it has an Rh positive blood type. Let's discuss the four main blood groups, why they differ, and what determines them. To put it simply, blood types differ according to the presence or absence of antigens in the blood cells. Antigens, also known as surface markers, are so named because they are found on the surface of the red blood cells. For example, if your red blood cells have only A-type antigens on their surface, your blood group is A. Respectively, if your red blood cells have only B-type antigens, your blood group is B. If both A and B antigens can be found on the surface of a person's red blood cells, their blood group is AB. If now there are no A or B type antigens on the surface of the blood cells, that's when we refer to it as the O blood group. Apart from being surface markers, these antigens have another important role. They can trigger an immune response, which occurs due to the interaction of antigens with antibodies. Unlike antigens, antibodies are found outside the red blood cells, in the blood plasma. Now, let's see what could be the blood type of the child if we know the blood types of both parents. For instance, if the mother and father are both blood type A, the child could be A or O. However, if the mother is blood type B and the father is blood type A, the child could be any of the four blood groups, A, B, A, B, or O. If the mother is blood type AB and the father is blood type A, the child could be AB or AB, but it is not possible to be blood group O. If the mother is blood type O and the father is blood type A, the child could be A or O. In a scenario where the father is blood type B and the mother is blood type A, the child could still be any of the four blood types. When both parents have blood type B, the child's blood type options are only B or O. If the father is blood type B and the mother is blood type AB, the child could be blood type A, B, or AB. If the mother has blood type O and the father has blood type B, the child could be B or O. If the father has blood type AB and the mother has blood type A, the child could be any of the following three groups, A, B, or AB. If the father has blood type AB and the mother has blood type B, the same combination is possible again, A, B, or AB. The same applies if both parents have blood type AB. The child could still be A, B, or AB. If the mother is blood type O and the father is AB, the child could be A or B. When the father has blood type O and the mother has blood type A, the possible blood types for the child are A or O. If the father has blood type O and the mother has blood type B, the child could be blood type O or B. If the father has blood type O and the mother has blood type AB, the child could be blood type A or B. If both parents have blood type O, the only option is for the child to have the same blood type O. Now, let's examine the same table, but with the assumption that we know the child's blood type and the mother's blood type, while remaining uncertain about the father's. If both the mother and the child are blood type A, the biological father of the child could have any of the four blood types, A, B, AB, or O. If the child has blood type A and the mother has blood type B, the possible blood type of the father is A 
or AB. For a child with blood type A and a mother with blood type AB, the father could have any of the four blood types. If the mother is blood type O and the child is blood type A, the potential fathers could be only A or AB blood types. For a child with blood type B and a mother with blood type A, the potential father could have B or AB blood type. If both the mother and the child are blood type B, the father's blood group could be any of the four possible options, A, B, AB, or O. Similarly, for a child with blood type B and a mother with blood type AB, the father could once again belong to any of the four blood groups. In a scenario where the child has blood type B and the mother's blood type is O, the father could be with blood type B or AB. If the child has blood type AB and the mother has blood type A, the father's blood group could be one of the following two, B or AB. For a child that has blood type AB and a mother whose blood type is B, the father could only have A or AB blood type. If both the mother and the child are blood type AB, the father could be AB or AB blood types. A scenario where the child is blood type AB and the mother is blood type O is impossible. For a child with blood type O and a mother with blood type A, the father's blood group could be A, B, or O. The same applies if the child has blood type O and the mother has blood type B. The father could still be A, B, or O. A scenario in which the child's blood type is O and the mother's is AB is once again not possible. If both the mother and the child have blood type O, then the father could be A, B, or O blood type. It's important to note that exceptions to the rule have been identified due to genetic anomalies, such as the extremely rare Bombay phenotype blood group, which will be mentioned again in one of our upcoming videos. Additionally, blood groups should not be relied upon as definitive proof of paternity. For a more certain confirmation, DNA testing might be needed. Stay tuned for the upcoming videos at Parents to Children YouTube channel. We will explain more about the blood type compatibility which is very important when donating and transfusing blood, as well as about the significance of the RH factor during pregnancy and childbirth. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more insightful content on parenting and childcare.